In 2022, a scuba diver went looking for a shipwreck in the Gulf of Oman and found an alien landscape instead. Ten miles off the east coast of the United Arab Emirates, fishermen had located an anomaly on the seafloor 145 meters below the surface. They passed the tip to Simon Nadim, a technical diving instructor specialized in exploring caves and shipwrecks. The bottom here is really flat. We don't really see mountains or reefs. So that's why I was nearly certain it was a wreck. I went down on this day. I go toward the position of the supposedly wreck. And then I discovered that actually it was not a wreck, it was a reef. First, I was really disappointed. But as I started going around the reef, I was a bit uh, hypnotized by this place. I had this feeling that there is something more to look at. I wasn't understanding what I was looking at, but I felt it was important. But this wasn't a serene moment of wonder. At 145 meters deep in the open ocean, a diver is faced with immense pressure and dangerous currents. It's a very dynamic moment when you're at the bottom. We don't have much time. We are at the limit to be able to properly document, understand, and analyze what we are seeing. I decided that I need to record as much as possible. Simon surfaced with a few minutes of GoPro video and lots of questions. After the dive, I uh, did my research who were the best marine biologists in the region. So that's how I got in contact with uh, Dr. John Burt. So I was shocked, number one, because we didn't even know that these reefs occurred on the east coast of the UE. Dr. Burt is a marine biologist with a focus on coral reef ecosystems in the Arabian region. I'm looking at the readings that are on the bottom of the video and seeing that it's occurring at almost 150 meters. This was an unprecedented discovery, the first time a deep water reef had ever been found in the United Arab Emirates. Along the coast, the shallow reefs are relatively well studied, but beyond the nearshore waters, scientists know almost nothing, and many of the species living there are unknown to science. So we've only got three minutes of video that was taken by a GoPro. That's all we know about this system. Now, thanks to Ocean X, we're gonna be going back there to finally uncover a lot of mysteries around this reef. A year after Simon's discovery, a multidisciplinary team of scientists will use two submersibles and a remotely operated vehicle to get to know the reef in intimate detail. What corals, fish, and invertebrates call this place home? How abundant are they? and how many of these species are new to science. This really does represent an opportunity for us to put eyes on systems that nobody in the world has ever seen before to help develop an understanding for how our oceans operate. One of the reasons I started diving when I was a kid was uh, watching uh, the Cousteau documentaries. And somehow I knew I was gonna end up uh, down there. But now we're here today, I'm in a spaceship. Now I can really focus now we can really observe those marine life, those topographies. It's, a, it's another dimension. Rising from a flat, barren seafloor, the reef provides an oasis for unique life forms. It is almost like an alien landscape down there. Now many of the corals that are there, because it's a very low light environment, they don't have a lot of colors to them, but when you can sit there for a few minutes and start to appreciate the variation in the textures, the forms of these, it really is a remarkably beautiful area. At 145 meters below the surface, this reef sits in the mesophotic zone, the twilight realm between 30 and 150 meters that marks the boundary between shallow sunlit waters and the pitch black depths. Mesophotic reef ecosystems, we suspect, occupy around 80% of the area that's habitable for corals globally yet we know almost nothing about them. So they are a very large frontier for exploration. One huge question is what role they might play in a warming ocean and how they relate to shallow water reefs. Initially, when people started exploring these deeps, we thought they might be refugia for climate change in terms of the corals that are here will supply larvae or fish to the, the shallow reefs that might be getting impaired by things like coral bleaching events. 
We now know that that may not be the case and that these are actually quite distinct and unique ecosystems in their own right. And the race is on to understand them because just like their shallow counterparts, these reefs are vulnerable. Those that are occurring at depth in the mesophotic system are sitting in a system that we don't truly understand. And if you have things occurring in the shallow depths because of human activities, it will cascade down to these deep ecosystems and we won't even know that these changes are occurring. It's unexplored, but it is there. It's, it didn't start existing when you found it. So maybe this environment was being destroyed already before you found it. How are you supposed to understand and manage and conserve and protect an ecosystem that you know a little about. And so it's incredibly important that we develop scientific knowledge on these ecosystems. We really had no idea what we were going to find during this week out at sea. But what we've found is actually that there's whole genera, so not even species, it's the next group up of corals that have never been seen, not only in the UEE, but many of them in the Arabian Sea. These are new records for this region, but also we think we're going to have a few different species new to science coming out of this mission. With each new record, our picture of deep sea biodiversity becomes clearer and our ability to protect it grows stronger. For us to be able to do high resolution mapping of that area, to be able to see and collect some of the corals that are at this site, and to be able to document the biodiversity that's on that area, what it's done is it's actually pulled back the first layer of the onion. We now know that there's so much more out there that we don't know about, and we've got a huge coastline that has yet to be explored.